As the seasons begin to change, the temperature is getting colder and the leaves are beginning to fall here in the U.S. It's a wonderful time for comfort foods and there's nothing more satisfying than a classic American cowboy stew. As I peel and cube these potatoes, I'll tell you that unlike an old-fashioned stew recipe, this cowboy stew takes a third of the time to prepare. I'm going to toss aside the potatoes in a bowl and grab a nice onion. And we're going to cut that onion but not too fine or it's going to get lost in the flavor of the stew. In a large pot, add about a tablespoon of olive oil and heat it. And then go ahead and add those onions to the pot and saute them until they're translucent. Now add a pound of ground beef and make sure to cook it until there's no pink left. Once the meat is browned, I'm going to add one package or about 12 to 13 ounces of kielbasa. And I can tell you this adds a wonderful layer of flavor along with the ground beef. I'm adding one can of peeled and diced tomatoes that have been drained. And I'm going to add two cans of diced tomatoes with green chili pepper. With the liquid in the can, we're going to get that nice flavor from the green chili peppers. Now we're going to lay down those potatoes. One can of whole kernel corn, about 15 ounces, drained. A can of pinto beans, also 15 ounces. So I'd like to point out that after a long day of work, this cowboy stew is a wholesome, savory meal. And it's great because if you cook it in a big batch, you can freeze it in airtight containers and have it ready during the week. Now, simply add one 10 ounce package of frozen mixed vegetables. Add three minced garlic cloves. One teaspoon ground cumin and one teaspoon chili powder. And then sprinkle a teaspoon of salt and black pepper and adjust to taste. I'm adding two cups of chicken broth because that's what I have, but if you have beef broth, go ahead and use that, that's fine too. And one cup of water. And there you have it. Once it's done simmering, it's ready to serve. Enjoy immediately, or as I said, go ahead and freeze it, and it'll be at the ready for when you need it. As always, I will include the ingredients in the description down below. I hope you give this recipe a try, and let me know in the comments how you liked it. Thank you to our current subscribers, as I couldn't do this without you. If it's your first time here, please don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, tell a friend. See y'all soon.